Hello, and welcome back to Redneck Snack and Food Reviews. So today, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to try not to ramble on too long, because if I do, then I'd be holding the people back that are watching me live from, you know, watching this as soon as possible. And this video could be up to an hour, depending on how committed I am to suffering. So, yeah, Pocky One Chip Challenge was a challenge that was originally online. Um, you would like buy the chip, it's like $8, something like that. And so that was last year. This year, they got the 2020 Pocky Chip. And so not only is it Carolina Reaper, but it's an added Sichuan heat. What I've heard from one review I've watched so far, better flavor, maybe just as intense as the other um, Pocky Chip but it's supposed to be manageable to make in an hour. We'll see, because I've seen people splash their faces with milk and go through all types of extremes. So I don't know, but my goal is to make it a whole hour. And so you'll know by the end of the video whether that happened or not. But uh, I'll go ahead and read this warning as I try and open this thing. Should have probably prepared better but uh warning do not eat if you are sensitive to spicy foods allergic to peppers not shades or capsicum or are pregnant or have any medical conditions keep out of reach of children after touching the chip wash your hands with soap and do not touch your eyes or other sensitive areas seek medical assistive oh, assistance should you experience difficulty breathing, fainting, or extended nausea, the Reaper shows no mercy. All right, so you open it up. The chip is nicely uh, packaged right there. I hope it's not broke. It kind of feels broke, but we'll eat it all in one bite regardless. And uh, so, yeah, so it's got this stuff on it. I'll go ahead and read it because I don't want to, but... You versus, oh, this, is this another? No. So it's you versus the Reaper. You, a mere mortal who thinks you, they have what it takes. The Reaper, a heavyweight champion with Carolina Reaper Pepper and New Sichuan Punch. What to expect? Um, made with blah, 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 intense heat and pain. Round one, spicy punch to the tongue. Round two, fiery jab to the face. Round three, impaired vision from tears. Round four, a low blow to the gut, pal. And round five, you're supposed to be knocked out, apparently. So, do you dare to go ahead with the Reaper? Rules for the challenge. Eat the entire chip. Two, wait for as long as possible before drinking or eating anything. And three, post your reaction on social media with hashtag one chip challenge and mention Pocky Chips. Any last words? Well, I do have a few more last words. And I just put the chip down um here's my words pocky i think your chip is a bitch and i'm about to own that thing but um here's what uh they say in terms of pro level they say featherweight can last five minutes lightweight can last 10 middleweight 30 minutes and heavyweight an hour plus so we're gonna shoot for an hour oh and you get a free bag of chips if you buy this so Keep that in mind if you're, you know. And then on the other side is a champion banner. I will keep that um, hidden until I conquer this damn thing. So, I'm going to open this. Hopefully it's not broken to pieces. But uh, if it is, it is. It's a chip. Oh, it is broken. That's just nice. So it's broken. That thing is like loaded with stuff. Um, but y'all know what a chip is. Y'all know what it's supposed to look like. It's just broken. So, oh boy. All kinds of broken. So I'm trying to get as much as I can. I think that's everything. Ooh, that smell is just intense. This is like charcoal on my hand right now. All right, so let's stop wasting your time. And let's go ahead and take on the Poppy One Chip Challenge. Mm. 
I didn't even want to swallow that thing. That was terrible. Mm. Now I got to sit here <coughs> through all this nonsense trying to prove I can make it without drinking a single drop. I can do this. Yeah. I can do this. Might suffer. Might scream in pain. I feel like screaming right now because now it's like the heat's building up. But we can do this. <coughs> we can do this. I don't want to talk. I should have probably had a partner here who could have talked <laughs> through my emotions on this. <coughs> can you taste anything besides heat? Hell no! <laughs> Oh, I just feel like moving around right now. <laughs> ah. Okay. Ooh. Oh, baby. It's all man. It is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we I can do this. Of it right now. <laughs> <laughs> like I can smell it. We can do this! Yeah, I can smell it too. <sighs> Never give up. Never give up. Oh. <coughs> 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 that was a good tip, bud. It's a good tip. Your face is getting red. You're sweating. <laughs> Miami Heat. We like suck. <laughs> we suck. Oh, we blew it last night. Oh, we blew it. <laughs> we blew it. We freaking blew it. <laughs> I'm not going to blow it. <laughs> I thought I heard the dog. <laughs> it does. Yo, this chocolate milk looks good. <laughs> Shut, this tub is cold. Temperature. Wait, wait, you should definitely wash your hands. Oh, oh, oh do you just rub eyes. his eyes? Don't your eyes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you should get you some some hand sanitizer. Uh, I would wash your hands with soap. <laughs> I'm not good at taking warnings, folks. I'm bad at that. So. What, what stage are you at? Are you at the, the, the fire punches to your face or do you feel in your face? Oh, the face. Wait, well, let's look at in the eyes. Oh, yeah, the eyes too. I'm sorry to cry, folks. We ain't feeling, we ain't feeling it in the gut yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. That hurt. Crying hurts. It hurts to cry. It hurts to cry. <laughs> Gotta admit it, man. <laughs> oh, oh, that tickles. <laughs> oh, I'm like, it's firing out my nose. God, please help me. You okay? Not by the slightest. <laughs> Are you allowed to walk around? Yes. You, you want to get some fresh air on the porch? Just take the camera out and do a vlog. Can you? <coughs> oh. oh. <coughs> I might throw up. That can't happen with hot food. There's a Conquer snake. the chip. Hey, if you throw up and it goes out of your system, does that count? It's not. Yeah, it counts. I guess so. Yeah, it counts. You didn't drink anything. I guess that's a hack. Take it full through. <laughs> so, what am I trying to think about?
in this moment of failure. Got it. It's going to stop eventually, right? You've already made it five minutes. I thought it was ten minutes at this point. <laughs> this is going to be a long fucking hour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so maybe... Maybe I should just sleep it off? Would y'all be entertained by that? I don't know if you'd be able to sleep. <laughs> right now? Sleep? <laughs> sleep is the best option. Maybe I'll have a nightmare. Maybe I'll speed the process up. I wish this could be live. Because I could take some advice. But I got four people here. Okay, what do you want? Get my mind off this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. That's all you I'm can't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be my hero. <laughs> then I'll die in vain. <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a good thing Jonathan's not here. People are like, what the fuck is going on right now? He probably, once he sees this, he's probably going to be dissuaded from doing this. He said, you do it first and I'll think about it. And, you know, I did it. But can I make it an hour? It's kind of like I got a mental map of this and like thinking about how other people like they went straight for milk and like screaming in pain. That's the mental map I got. It's like the the uh, the intuition, the thing I got in my mind, the instinct that I've got is to like oh, no. No, is to grab for this thing and drink it. Put that, put that over. Here. Yeah, I've got an idea. You can take my water your, too. You can educate your audience about what makes pepper so spicy. What makes pe if I can read this? <laughs> Either I'm illiterate or the tears are just blocking my view. But all about capsation and chili peppers. Capsation is how you pronounce it. Cap say a sin. So it's like saying, wait, wait, now I got it. Alright, so it's like when someone says they sin, but you're saying cap. Cap say a sin. I'm saying cap say a sin. <laughs> Not no cap, but cap. Say a sin. I'm capping you right now. Because you didn't sin, brother. You are clean. Maybe not completely clean, but you're clean at that moment. I'm calling cap, but you're lying. So now you are sinning. In a way. So you're sinning when you say you sinned because you lied. <laughs> this, thing, <laughs> this pepper f your mind up. It really does. Um, back to it. The chemical and chili peppers that makes them spicy. Specifically, capsaicin occurs in the fruit of plants in the capsicum family, including jalapeno peppers, cayenne peppers, and other chili peppers. I love peppers. <laughs> but you want to know my favorite pepper? <laughs> my favorite pepper is a bell pepper. <laughs> I love banana pepper. Oh, bell. Banana peppers are good. But bell pepper? peppers, fuck yeah. You put them in fajitas. And I love me some fajitas. Who wants to go get Mexican food out of this? No, I'm actually going. I'm. I'm. Go, I'm gonna call Jack Browns up. I'm gonna ask him if they got that bratwurst, and I'm gonna fucking reward myself. Oh, your film face ID, brother. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't put limits on my phone, and I don't put a lock on my phone, cause I'm a boss. And if some bitch wants to take my phone, <laughs> they can do it, cause I ain't got nothing to lose.
Alright, where were we? Okay. Measuring capsaicin. Capsaicin in chili peppers is measured on the Schofield scale. And you and is expressed in terms of Schofield heat units. The SHU, so in parentheses it said it's pronounced SHU. I'm gonna call it SHU. The SHU is a method of describing how many drops of sugar water is required to dilute the heat of any given pepper. The units are measured in the thousands for more mild peppers and the range extends all the way to the hundreds of thousands and even millions for the hottest pepper. <laughs> Ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Should I stop saying that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Taking over. <laughs> <laughs> That's the classic two. 10 minute mark. <laughs> the sugar water <laughs> method. <laughs> Stage two. <laughs> I ain't no bitch. Oh. So I'm gonna fight this thing. I feel a lot better though. If we're being honest. I think it's I did. Past. It's only going to get better from here. It only gets better from here, unless it hits the stomach. Then we might be going to the bathroom, folks. Is it at the stomach yet? No. What do you feel right now? Where is it hot? And how hot is it? It's on my lips. A little bit in my throat. Would it make it worse ooh, to lick your ooh, lips? Oh, oh, I just felt... Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! This is not no good in my throat! <laughs> Maybe I, just, I don't need to swallow. I swallow, swallow, yeah. swallow for the dollar. No, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't think that through, but now it hurts a little bit. <laughs> the shoe <laughs> is a method of describing how many drops of sugar water is required to dilute. The heat of any given pepper. My eyes hurt. I just want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I already read through this shit. Right? Yeah. This is the thousands and the... Oh, the sugar water method was subjective and not very reliable. And has since been replaced by high performance liquid chro <laughs> chromatography. <laughs> Is that not how you pronounce it? Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Chromatography. Is it chromatography? Yep, you got it. <laughs> we got some extra chromosomes up in here. So, uh, I think that chip gave me some extra chromosomes. <laughs> I'm delirious because I cannot dilute the heat. Okay, settle down. But my my eyes hurt. Okay, I think I'm in the eye vase. Bye, Alex. Wait, so, do you want to? I'm gonna show my Mike or Andy. Do you want to keep reading that though? Uh, yeah. Okay, you can to your audience. This you can. This distracts me. This keeps. What if oh, you, you could like take oh, a walk around? Oh, 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 have the phone oh, on you. Oh, oh, What's going oh, on? Oh, oh, oh. I'm starting to feel a little bit of tingling in my stomach. It's a stomach phase. Well, you better. This is going a little bit quicker than I thought. It's better. It's been almost 15. Okay. Now we're gonna walk around. Y'all have fun. Okay. I'm gonna sit here and try and find other things to read. That's okay. um, good. Um, read them a story. Okay. Read them a story. Oh! Oh, I got a perfect story. I got a riddle for you folks. Oh. 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 This was a mistake. I'm 
I'm not going to tap out. But I'm going to... Uh, uh. All right, folks. A frog goes into a bank and approaches the tower. He can see her name plate. That her name is Patricia Wack. Miss Wack, I'd like to get a $30,000 loan to take a vacation. Patty Wack looks at the frog in disbelief and asks his name. The frog says his name is Comet Jagger, his dad is Mick Jagger, and it's okay. He knows the bank manager. Patty Wack explains that he will need to secure the loan with some collateral. The frog says, sure, I have this, and proceeds, no, and proceeds to present <coughs> a tiny porcelain elephant about an inch tall, bright pink, and perfectly formed. Very confused, Patty White explains that she'll have to consult with the bank manager and disappears into a back office. She finds the manager and says, there's a frog called Kermit Jagger out there who claims to know you and wants to borrow $30,000 and he wants to use this as collateral. She holds up the tiny pink elephant. I mean, what in the world is this? The bank manager looks back and asks, and, and, at her and says, It's a knick knack, Patty Whack. Give the frog a load. His old man is a rolling stone. <laughs> you all get that? You all get that? Uh, uh, this feels worse than being drunk. I tell y'all, do not eat this damn chip. Because it feels like purgatory. Ooh. But if I'm being honest, it's really not as bad as some may make it think. Including myself. It's really not as bad. First 10 minutes. Woo! -wee! But right now, I'm just chilling. Like, I have a history of having a resistant stomach that likes to fight and likes to say, fuck no, you ain't going until I say you're going. So as it starts to hit my stomach, I think I'm coming to the realization that I'm going to be fine. And, oh, his phone, it closed, so... We'll just be sitting here doing story time out of my crazy mind for the next fuck who knows minutes. Um, honestly, I between the fact that I don't have 2020 vision and my glasses are who knows where and the fact that I just cried and I hope this doesn't recur. I don't I hope it doesn't come back to haunt me. My body feels numb. My, they don't tell you this, but your hands, like, start to feel a little bit numb. I think it is a bit over-exaggeration with the knockout. Um, Flavor-wise, y'all love when I give the rating, so I, I might just rate this for you. Flavor-wise, honestly, I'm sitting here thinking. I don't know if it was all that good. 
And I know that I, I can't compare it to the first chip. Uh, but uh, to my analysis, it wasn't my favorite tortilla chip. Uh, I, I'm very grateful, and they won't watch this far probably, but I am very grateful for uh, <laughs> my housemates for uh, just sitting here and, well, half of them were my housemates, half of them were just visitors. But I want to thank them for just standing here and watching me go from 100 to zero, losing my cool uh, figuratively and literally. Um, Cause man, it is good to have some moral support. Like, I know I said I could use a partner. Cause like, you really could. That's my advice. You could go at it alone. But my recommendation is have a team or have a person that'll sit through this with you and encourage you to survive. I do wish they were still up here. Um, Cause I'm starting to feel a little bit cold. And I don't want to get up and close this door, and I don't want to get up and close, turn this fan off. Um, so if they come back up here, um, I'll, I'll, I'll beg them to close the door and to unplug the van, fan. Because I am getting chilly. And uh, I do have chilly in my body. Um, but I think I rushed through this. So if y'all want me to go ahead and... Uh, read through this once again i will uh let's look at the nutrition facts so one chip is 30 calories and you may be from the outside how is one chip 30 calories they dust this thing with all kinds of shit that's why it's 30 calories and they put all kinds of chemicals in here just to f with you to make you lose your mind so uh there's that, but, uh, man, I'm shivering, man. I can't stop shaking. It's so freaking cold. Um, hey, Silas, could yeah. you, uh, <laughs> close that door? You're cold? That, man. I'm cold. Why are you reviewing something? Uh, <laughs> you have a cold? You have a cold? <laughs> oh, I'm doing something, all right. Your brain is tricking you into thinking man, you're cold. Could you unplug that, uh, that, oh, yeah. that fan? Uh, so you have 30 calories. That's a good amount of calories. That's like, that's a percent, uh, well, that's a little bit over a percent of your daily value. Um, no trans fat. Oh, hey, Landon, I ate the chip. <laughs> Is it good or bad? It, it was terrible at first, but right now I'm starting to like settle in. So I think I'm going to make it. I'm gonna make it, yeah. I'm gonna make it an hour, so I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be a heavyweight champion <laughs> on this shit. <laughs> oh, but I had encouragement. Hey, your mouth already looks less black. <laughs> well, I ain't you diluted the heat, like you said. <laughs> um, yeah. So, and gre I'm gonna just get the nutrition. There's a lot of zero percents, but all this thing has is like 30 calories, one gram of fat. It's got 25 milligrams of <laughs> sodium got four grams of carbs and that's that about chip? it yeah and I, I took kinesiology and they taught you how to calculate calories um shoot I can't tell you but you can calculate calories and get back to me on that if you want to but uh just like this chip um if you want to complain about how long this video is or was or whatever you a bitch too because i'm doing this to show you i can make it an hour i'm doing it just so i can just oh all right i ain't calm down because my stomach is reeling
This thing, I see past videos, this thing really does make you have to go. And I'm going to try and make it here in this seat without even attempting to go. But um, it hurts. It does. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to keep this case. Y'all can, y'all know I'm a champion of sorts. It's getting hard to breathe, but I don't know. I guess I'll endorse it if you ain't a basic bitch. You know, you could do this. You got it in you. Um, but I don't feel like talking now. I really don't. Because I got to take a shit. Ah. Uh, uh, if I could just bypass round four, thanks would be Gucci. <sighs> but I'm not bypassing round four. And I'm doing my best to hold on. <clears throat> Either I'm going to throw up I'm going to have to take a shit. But. I'm going to keep fighting. <sighs> I got a champion's heart, friends. I got a champion's heart. I'm in no way. Gonna give up. <sighs> I'm in between like passing out and having to really go. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. I need some cold air. I'm getting up again. Oh. 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 oh, okay, I got this, huh. okay, sorry, I want to be able to talk to y'all, but I'm literally, I'm going to explode. It hurts. It hurts. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna pass out. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh. I'm dying. Uh. 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 Can't sit. I can't sit. I can't sit. I don't know what's worse, the initial feeling or this. 
I'm gonna make it. If I just, if I just ignore, if I, ah, oh, damn, damn, ah. Oh. Oh. oh, guys, guys, listen to me. Don't do this. The worst feeling you're going to get is your gut. And I didn't know what to expect from the gut because literally the couple sat there for maybe, they had a timer. Uh, they sat there for 13 minutes and they said that was enough. That, they, that was proof that they made it, that they were tough. And, but they didn't go until it hit their stomach. They didn't. I call that false advertising, man. I paid eight dollars to do this. Eight dollars. Y'all better be laughing at me. Ah. <laughs> when I'm done with this. I'm taking a shower. I, I, I'm rewarding myself. But really, if you ain't a bitch, this ain't shit. You got this. In a sense, I'm telling you don't do it, but in a sense, I'm telling you go for it. Jesus, take the will, take it from my hands, because I can't fight this feeling any. I don't know the rest of it. I don't even. I'm pushing this song. You know what? And don't take any offense to this, but this has me wondering what would be worse? The consequences of this for an hour or legit going through every effect of COVID other than death for just one hour. Just like not going through every effect over time, but like for one hour. What would be worse? And maybe people who have COVID, they would definitely know um, if they tried this. Um, but if you have COVID, do not try this chip, because this chip will F you up even more if it doesn't kill you. And you know what? If you're brave, maybe if you have COVID, maybe do it. And maybe this is the cure to COVID. Maybe this is secretly the cure to COVID. And we just don't know it yet. But I'm surviving not quite thriving and I think we got through the stomach pain for now. 33 minutes. It's been 33, 33 minutes. minutes. That means I'm over halfway through and I could have done a TikTok dance with all the all the movement I was doing. I was moaning and mounting this chair and oh, I, I closed the door and then I opened it because I got sweaty again. I got oh. chills. Yeah, Mike, this is it. Um, Should we call this the third Yo! Thing?
Where's Ian? Alex, go get Ian. I think, I think he should play his guitar right now. It would really soothe me, and it would be some good background music to the audience. So, Ian! Go Ian, again? come play your guitar! Please! We need some music! We can go ask him, and we'll come back. Alright. Uh, so we may get music. Yeah, this is the exercise at some point. It's nice, is it? Like, if it's late at night, um, we'll up here, you can walk up these stairs and not have but, to, like, go through the whole house and get locked through. Yeah. Um, so there's two rooms up here. There's two my room rooms. and Johnny's room. Yeah, this is Matt's room. Tour it all you like. Very nice. Yep. They're like both uh, like little baby figurines. <laughs> oh, so there's a story behind those little baby figurines. <laughs> so, so there, that you know, have you heard of the den? There's a house called the oh, den, no, and there's girls that live there, and Alex's girlfriend Kayla, and then Ian's girlfriend Leah lived there. And so this girl named Grace who lives with them got obsessed with these little baby figurines and bought like 500 of them to hide them everywhere at their house. And they gave them, gave some to like all of us that were over there. Was crazy. So I had never done anything with them. We like had dinner with them and they made us pasta. Oh yeah, they put baby, little they, babies We brought in brownies there. over and they like took it back and then... They put like, little babies on it. planted the babies inside the brownies. Like deep inside yep. so you put it in there. Yeah. <laughs> Was it deep? I, I don't remember biting into it. Yeah, I, think they, the surface, so they I think it was mostly on the surface because they didn't want us swallowing a little yeah, baby like figurine. But yeah, that was chill because we had a whole bunch of ice cream. You know what? I could go for some ice cream right it's now. Shit, I'm out of ice cream. Jonathan, Wait, Alex. Don't think about it. Is that mint chocolate chip ice cream in the freezer yours? No. Can you ask Ian if it's his sure. or Lanny? Because... I, I'm a champion that into my body. You're after, done at five eleven. I don't know. Okay. I can't keep track of the time. And that's. Are you gonna be here? Um, I don't know. What is? What are your plans? I don't know. Are you getting dinner? Probably at Valley Pike at six. Uh, so I might be here. I might okay. be here. Okay. Then I'll just get my brat worse to go if they have it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Have fun. Uh, Keep going. You're doing great. I feel good now. Good. Hopefully nothing else comes Weird. up. Hopefully it doesn't knock me out. I mean everything else has been accurate. Um, at least it? I didn't have. At least I didn't run to the bathroom. But like, oh, yeah, you only it, have. It really hit my gut really hard. You only so. have um, like 23 more minutes. Or tw yeah, 23 more minutes. Uh, right now I'm fine. It's, if everything just stays consistent, which it hasn't so far, I'm fine. Good. So. Probably be chill. Yeah. Uh, I'm ready to fucking show this banner off to you folks. <laughs> oh, you know how long it's gonna take to upload this video? A long ass time. So you motherfuckers better be grateful. I I I'm sorry I curse so much. I really am, but this thing brings out the demon. Um, so what can we do? We have 20 to 30 minutes left on the clock. What can I do for you? How may I serve you? How may I be your servant? Um, Because I want to do for you as you want done for you, but you ain't there. So let me think. Um, so about a year ago when a lot of the people I know like found out about this and like were really hype into this, um, they were like, like not about the chip challenge, but, and it, they were like, one of, the, one of the comments, he was like, you should totally try each pepper. And you know what? This is worse than any of that shit. So I'm going to do it. At some point, I'm going to try many different types of peppers. I'm going to acquire and try as many different types of peppers as human po humanly possible. That is the goal. If someone can give me advice as how to do that, uh, feel free. Um, but yeah, I got this. Um, I was, I was told by someone in my hunt club. I hunt. I don't know if you can tell if you've stereotyped me yet, but you can tell like I'm pretty backwoods type of shit. I'm not. Oh, I got another thing to talk about, but. 
back to this. Um, so someone was just telling me you should do the pocket one chip challenge. I never heard of it, and then I watched it. And I was like, this shit's kind of funny. I don't know how much traction this video is gonna get, but if it doesn't get some views, I'll be a little bit devastated because I feel like it's gonna be hilarious. But uh, yeah, like I was told I should do this, and I was like, this is funny, and I. I never turn down anything. The The only time I don't do anything, I, I do turn down things, but like, I don't turn down anything that like requires risk. I like risk. Um, well, there is, there is one thing, not to get too final, but I am not a very poetic type of person when it comes to um, trying to attract the opposite sex. Um, and a lot of people are swooning for multiple women at a time and it's just so easy for them um, but i just i set my interest on one person and that's how it is but back to the like me not setting like risks um oh me not turning down risks. like if i don't do something it's because Either I think it's just stupid, like it's just dumb, like I don't think it's worth it, not that it's too risky, but it's just dumb, or um, I'm just procrastinating. Like I want to do it, I deep down want to do it, and something's making me procrastinate. Rather that's a fear, I do fear some things, um, as I said, but uh... Like, I progress, like, I was just like, I want to change where I'm registered to voting. And I was putting it off for a while, and I got it done. But usually I just procrastinate things if I don't see the value of doing it immediately. So, like, I'm interested in someone right now. Um, not to get into details. I'm interested in someone. And, um... It's not like, it's not an extreme interest, but like, I just don't, I, it, there's so much uncertainty to it. And with risk, you, you just need to get over the uncertainty and not kind of live at the fullest. Like not live recklessly, but you know, live to the point where it's like understanding the risk doesn't matter. Cause like to a point, like the same, some of the same reasons that are holding me back should be some of the reasons that are just like putting the fire under me um because like i graduate so they go here and uh, they go to my school um i graduate in december and like i don't know where i'm gonna go in my life when i graduate but like i don't know how often i'll get to see them after so like it's that's why I shouldn't worry. But like again, what if it were to work out? What are the implications of that seem a little bit nightmarish? You understand? Um, but and other things like I feel like you know it's fall. People start like getting this attitude of and like COVID season has been like distancing. But like it's fall and people are starting to like find ways around that. And so like this is the typical time of year where like, people are like things are summer's over so it's like you're not split up from people and you're just trying to see i'm kind of you know there's options and i can start to get to know more people so that's another thing holding me back is like how many guys could be going for it does she have someone because like that always ha every time like i get interested in someone in this time period it doesn't work out and so i'm a bit fearful that that won't work out and it's already into my life story um but i'm bored here you know i'm trying to talk to y'all and i think i've come more to my senses on things because i went through every single stage except for getting knocked out because i ain't a bitch and you ain't knocking me out but uh yeah i don't know i, I struggle with that um and like i finally told someone just one person um 
who it is specifically. And there's another person who kind of knows, um, but like, they kind of like pushing me and I don't know how to handle it. And like, I've got a good community of people that can tell me how to handle it. But like advice is just not gonna, it's, it's to me, it's not enough, honestly. So I don't know. Um, and I'm told every time this happens, I'm, I'm told I'll regret it. And I do, in a sense. But then there's always someone new that I, that catches my interest. Like, it, there's always that little nudge of regret. But like, people, I think they overhype it. So that's why I kind of like, sit back and like say, I'm not gonna risk it. Because like, the regret fades gradually but it fades and so like with this the regrets fading um so i don't know how much longer i got but um just in case this is my last subject to talk about i mean i could sit here for hours but i i, I don't want to sit here for two damn hours you know so I, I i'll have in my mind when a good stopping point is but um the other night we had some, so I'm from Virginia, I'm from the southern, southeast part of Virginia. Um, so there's, the northern part of Virginia is called Nova. So we had some Nova kids um, at the house. Not kids anymore, they're, I mean, we're all adults, but one of them's like graduated from college. So it's, he's in grad school here. So it's like, you're not really a kid at this point. He's pretty mature. Um, he's, I don't know, he's got a little bit of pep in his step. I want to say flamboyant because I've always been told flamboyant equates to gay and I don't think he's gay but I'm not going to judge whether he is or not but anyways so we were just like having conversation on us on um the difference between country uh, between southern country and redneck and some people like say it's the same thing but we were talking about um, rather it was a spectrum and so with these videos I, some of y'all may know some of y'all may not um, I hope a lot of you that have been keeping up with me know that and I, uh, over my video like I tend to like talk more normal I think this is between the country and the more normal I think now I'm like talking normal you, you can tell um, so I'm, just, I'm, I'm completely ditch, ditching the accent right now not even going to try but you can, like, there's an argument that those three things mean the same thing, but there's also an argument for spectrum. And so here's how the spectrum lays out, and I am totally with this. So you got country in the middle. So I think the general, um, I would say the spectrum is called people from the south. I think that would be a general title for it. And so you've got this spectrum. You've got in the middle is country. So they're basically, they're modern. Um, and I'll explain what that means. But I think it's pretty easy to understand what moderate, liberal, and conservative all mean in a more apolitical uh, sense. Like, these are terms that aren't um, specifically political. They all do have sub sub meanings that are political but we were talking about the spectrum and so you've got the liberal side is southern and so that doesn't mean you are a democrat you could possibly be but the 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 southern side's liberal as in like it's a softer approach i would say um even though, like, liberal, maybe it's flopped. Maybe liberal is, maybe liberal is more like redneck in this sense. Because liberal means you're, like, all for, like, freedom. Well, freedom's, like, all for change. Like, you're extreme. So I think liberal might be the extreme of, it doesn't matter. Y'all can tell, y you can tell. There's one extreme country there's one extremely not country you, you get the picture you got the picture in your map 
I could draw a picture. I, I do have a pen. I don't have a piece of paper. Fortunately, there's nobody around me to help me out with that. But so the spectrum, and I hope you're, I hope you're interested in hearing about the spectrum because I'm going to talk about. It. But so in the middle is country. So you vibe with country music. You vibe with like country activities. You can hunt. You can drink beer. You can fish. I mean, you don't, it does, this doesn't mean you do all of the things. It just means you do them. Or you don't, you know, you do, you do at least some of them, you know. You, you participate. Um, maybe you go mud in. Maybe, that's a maybe. Um, you, maybe you got a four-wheeler, dirt bike, something of that. You know, typical southern person. Typical country person, you know. Listen to country music maybe got a more than likely you have a pickup truck i don't have a pickup truck now do i think i'm edging closer to getting one more than likely yeah um i don't know where my life is going but the situations and scenarios line up so there's that southern um oh and the dress too like you wear blue jeans and stuff southern i think you would say they're more classy. They probably don't typically wear blue jeans. They don't typically get dirty. They don't typically do any of the country activities. They, they, they probably act more like a northern type of person. But they have the accent. They've got some type of accent. Not like this. This is definitely redneck accent. But I'd say more like me. I'd say like got a little bit. Um, so that's like Southern, um, you know, they're not invested in like, they might, they might hate country music, but they're from the South and they've got good hospitality, I'd say. Um, and they're, they're probably friendly with the other two spec people on the spectrums. Um, and they may very well align themselves up with conservative political views. So being Southern again, doesn't make you completely out of the loop in terms of country. It just means you have a lot less interest in all of those activities and mechanisms than your typical person. You know what I mean? Your typical country person. Now redneck is like this. Redneck is living life on the edge Reckless as hell. Mudding in the most muddiest places. Not giving a damn. You get your truck stuck. You get your four-wheeler stuck. You, you, you just don't care. You just do it. And you live it up. You drink beer and you do the stupidest nonsense in the world. Now, I've drank beer and acted dumb. But I ain't drank beer and said, Okay, let's go jump on top of something or... Let's shoot guns. Now, some people do that. Some people do it. Uh, rednecks, they tend to like to fix their own shit, which usually they broke in the first place. Um, they're tooth and nail. They, they'll shoot... Ten now, I, I, I may be in between country and redneck, if you ask me. Uh, they're hard right, so they're like, fuck all you liberal nonsense. Rednecks are ignorant, for the most part. Um, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. They usually have a lot, low IQ. Um, and they, they don't, they don't give a shit about political correctness. See, I think I'm all over the spectrum, honestly, because like, I like to see change in the way people carry their attitudes. You know what I mean? Um, I like to see more justice in the world. Um, and I, I... Rednecks will throw a lot of a lot of hard terms that you can't get away with saying these days. Um, CEOs can't get away with saying. But you're in the backwoods, so no one's listening but your buddies. And your buddies aren't going to snitch on you. So... It has been hard not to refrain to that mindset because I grew up with a lot of rednecks. 
it is hard. It it really is, and that's why I kind of feel like it. For me, it's easier to give grace to people who go and blurt that word out. Um, like I know the their apology is usually like stale. Um, it's just because they got caught, but. Um, I just feel sympathy because it's how you, it's where you grew up. And they, a lot of, a lot of people don't end up like going through a system that teaches you not to say these words. They, they exclude themselves from it. You're taught that the mainstream is something to be excluded from. And in most cases, yeah, it's good to exclude yourself from the mainstream, but like, and I know this is just like me rambling on, but like I, when someone says the R word or the N word, I tend to have a lot more grace towards them than a lot of other people. Like, but I do I, I get this N word attitude towards them, and it's like I want to say something. I want to call them out on it. Be like, don't say that, please don't say that. But it is it is those are words that float in my head subconsciously. And I work my best to never say them. And it's it's been a, it with the, the hard R. That's been my struggle. The other one, no, I I don't struggle. Hard R. If I get super frustrated with something, it'll it'll pop up. So rednecks, they don't they don't give a shit. That's where that that's where you classify them. Um, they are the people who. Just don't care. They do whatever. Um, trying to think what else they do. Oh, they shoot fireworks in unconventional ways. Um, they throw things in the fire like ammo and aerosol cans. All that nonsense. They'll do that. I mean, back home you'll you'll see on the news Billy Joe catches on fire and dies. It's like, I feel bad, I feel like, but I feel like that could have been prevented, especially on Bailey Joe's part. But, like, seriously, like, and I've done a lot of these reckless things, and, like, shooting Tannerite, I, would I do it? Hell yeah. But I think there's a difference between shooting Tannerite on your farm back at home, between shooting Tannerite inside of like a inside of like a defunct car like a defunct vehicle you know what I mean like blowing up a, a whole vehicle so I think rednecks would do that like they would blow up something of value where like where you're in between country and redneck you're shooting tannerite you're less so like if, if there's a real life good example of a redneck that would be Joe Exotic Stops at nothing, does whatever he wants, and I love the dude. I really do. I'm Team Joe all the way. A lot of people say Team Fuck 'em all. Um, no one really says Team Carol, but there are some blinded people. But if anyone reminds me of a redneck, it is Joe freaking exotic. It is. Um, but yeah, I I I've, I've been sitting here a long time. And I feel like it's been probably an hour at this point. How long I've rambled on. I can't see the time on there. But I I have the, the instinct and the intuition that says this thing is done. And I have come to victory. So we're going to go ahead and unveil this. And I have survived. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here for about five, ten more minutes, just in case, just in case I haven't made it an hour, um, cause you never know, um, and just like, I'll, I'll talk about this experience straightforward, what I felt, um, the challenge, I'm not rating this chip. I, I think it would be disrespectful to just say this I'm reviewing this chip and saying I'm gonna rate it. Instead I'm gonna rate this challenge. And as far as it goes, 
I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Um, I know I said I went back and forth between do it and don't do it. But after going through all that painful, painful nonsense, and I could have avoided it, um, it, it showed me a lot. It opened my eyes. It opened my mind. It made me go delirious, but it, it was fun. Um, so like, it's, it's, it's totally worth your time. Definitely. Um, but we're going to go ahead and go through like, because this doesn't really say anything I can, it's worth going through. Um, no. So you can see the banner one more time. But, uh, I'm going to go ahead and read this again. Just, and, uh, so, like, go ahead with the, do you dare to go ahead with the Reaper? Rules of the Child, eat the chip. I did that. Wait for as long as possible before drinking or eating anything. I did that. I, I, I can only wonder how those guys, that man and his wife, how they even survived this. And right now I'm sitting here. Worst problem I got right now. A little bit of tingling spice. But my legs are itchy because mosquitoes got in. And who knows how. I guess it's kind of a warm day. But, uh, anyways. So just wait as long as possible. And then post your reaction on social media. It's coming. Once this video decides to get uploaded. And all of that. So. Other side again, one chip challenge 2020. You, a mere mortal who thinks they have what it takes. I think I did. I, I did fine. Um, heavyweight, they call it the Reaper heavyweight champ, but Carolina Reaper. You know, I feel like someone probably has the balls where they ate two at one time or ate one back to back. Like once they, I feel like someone probably did that. And, It'd be funny to watch for sure, but I'm not doing that, um, and you can rest assured on that. But anyways, what to expect, again, I rated this 10 out of 10, um, made with Carolina Reaper, Scorpion Pepper, and Citron Peppercorn. This chip was craft crafted for the sheer pleasure of intense heat and pain, and it really, it, it, it is very hot and I still feel it and it, it's very painful um it really is your your mouth I think what it, it hurts your throat a lot and then your mouth gets it and then it, like it rocks your brain a little bit um like it, it rattles your brain I, I quickly started crying. Like, there was, like, no round one, two, three. It was all three rounds at the same time for me. Um, but it, it was correct. Like, I think it did come in a little bit of a sequence, but, like, it just, it came at me right then and there. Then the low blow to the gut took a little bit of time. Like, I started, so that's where, like, I could tell there was a difference between the sequences. So I started to feel... A lot better like I wasn't delirious um, I was calming down it's like I got this and then when my encouragement group went down and left I started to feel it in my stomach and like I was like I'll, I can push this off and if you watched it you saw me just get up and down and mount a chair it was a tough situation and for me, that was the hardest part because it was intense. And you, if you're not doing a video of this, I would recommend you run straight to the bathroom and try and like not fight against or fight with it. Push it out. I don't know if this this stomach feeling if it's gonna come back, but I've been sitting here for a good 20, 30 minutes since that, and I'm gonna tell you, I feel fine. So, um, but that was the worst. 
that was like a good five, ten minutes of me just like, uh, I didn't, I honestly, I didn't know if I was going to, because I thought that was where I was going to pass out. Like, phase four and five kind of like hit at the same time. Like, I could not stand, I, I don't know if I can stand that. I feel like I can, but I could not stand. Um, and my mind just felt very weak. But once the video ends, I'm going straight for the chocolate milk. I'm going straight. Um, but, and I'm not going to gulp it down. I'm going to slowly drink it. But, and I, I could go hours more just being fine. But it is, it is a very fun experience. Don't get me wrong. It is painful. But if you go at it with the right attitude, you're gonna kill it. You really are. Um, not for the faint at heart, but I feel like a good amount of people can do this. Um, and maybe I'm built different, but I watched a couple just sit there for 13 minutes and the dude was actually really struggling and his wife I think was doing fine. But Stomach's gonna get you. That's where I gotta, I gotta say do that. But I think what a lot of these videos, because I had I had the mental map of you're gonna eat this and you're gonna wanna drink milk instantly. Um, but that's exactly not what happened. Like I picked up that thing, I showed it to y'all, and I said I'm fine. It was painful. But I said, I'm, I'm going to make it through. And I made it through. And I don't know. I don't, re I don't recommend it to the faint of heart. But if you are always up for a challenge, you're going to love this. So this is, I haven't done the blazing challenge at B-Dogs. I don't know if they still do it because they got a new wing. Carolina Reaper too. Um, but this has me looking forward to doing that. If I can eat this chip, I can do that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, most people probably aren't watching this for the whole duration, and that's fine. But, if you do, you watched me survive, and I didn't thrive. Maybe some people do. Some people probably don't feel the effect. Some people don't have nerves. So you just don't feel it. But, um... This was good. This was good. This was a good way to spend my Saturday. And, uh, I don't know. If you have any recommendations, just, give, just throw them out. But, last thing I'll leave you with is please subscribe. Just please subscribe. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you to do anything else today. Just subscribe. If, you, if that was entertaining, I'm gonna stick to that. This was not scripted. Um, as I said, like, I may have overreacted, but I am the type of person that does that, like, in any situation. That's how I go about life. I'm like, I'm, I'm an intense person. I'm very passionate. So, um, I was passionate about the way I was feeling in those moments. So, yeah, um, that's. Oh, yeah, I got to get some chocolate milk. That's it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you had some good laughs. And uh, consider the, the challenge. So that's what I got. And uh, I'll see you all around for my next review.